What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to design a checkbox component that matches Google's material design guidelines. There are three different states that we're going to cover. Today we'll look at selected, unselected, and intermediate states for checkboxes, as well as the enabled, disabled, hover, focus, and pressed states for each. Checkboxes should be used to select one or more options from a list, present a list containing subselections, or turn an item on or off in a desktop environment. Here I've laid out the three states that we'll be designing for. I'm going to go ahead and create a frame. Let's make this 24 pixels by 24 pixels. We'll give it four pixels of border radius. We'll call this enabled. Let's go ahead and lay out all of the states that we're going to have for this first selected state. So that'll be enabled, hover, let's also do disabled, focus, and press. Let's bring all these in a little bit. We can actually just hold option and click and then just drag these down and then we'll have all of the different types of components that we'll be making. So let's go ahead and make all of these filled with that primary. I'm going to create a check mark. So let's have this be 14 by 9. We're going to have the stroke be white and then we're going to have the caps be rounded and the join will be round rather than meter. Let's take this and put it in the center here to make this 10 pixels so that this is totally even and then we'll put this on each of these frames and then for intermediate all we need to do is create a line like this. Let's make sure that it's 14 pixels wide and then I will place this in the center. So Let's make this white as well. Is that here, 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 and here? We don't want this disabled state to be white. Let's change this background to be the letter gray. Let's change this unselected state to have a stroke instead of a fill. We'll make that two pixels inside. And let's set this to that letter gray. Kind of difficult to see, so let's make the background a bit darker. See, we'll make this gray even lighter. For the hover on both of these, I'm going to create a stroke. We're going to have a stroke on the outside, and we're going to be two pixels. And we're going to use that same purple that we're using in the middle, but we're actually going to reduce the opacity to 16 pixels. Now I've got this hover state, but let's make that be a little bit darker. We'll make this 20 pixel, 20%. Then let's do the same thing for the focus state, but we're actually gonna increase the stroke a little bit. And then we're gonna make this be 30. Then finally, we're gonna go to the press state, which is when you actually click on it. And we're gonna make this much more dramatic at four, and we'll do 40 here. And finally, for unselected, we need to do the same thing, but you'll notice this is already a stroke and you can't add another stroke on top of that. So what we need to do is add a rectangle in the middle and we're going to apply the stroke property that we have on this outside so that we can have another stroke going outside of the shape. So what that means is we've got this rectangle here. We select the hover. I'm going to change this to be outside. I'm going to make this gray 100, be two. So I'm going to take this rectangle and apply it to both of these. And then I'm going to take this hover and make this gray. Let's see. 200. We'll keep this at two, like this four, and then we'll make this six. Now let's also take this gray and make it 300 or 200. So it's a little bit darker. And so now we have all of the components. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take all of this, remove it, and then I'm going to take all of these, create a component set. We're going to call this check box and then we're going to have this first property be state and then we're going to add another property here we'll call this type and the default will be selected but we'll also have that unselected and intermediate option take all these we'll change the type to unselected and then we'll also take this and call this intermediate if you're not familiar with this component the reason that you have this is if there's multiple check boxes below that affect a parent layer let's say you're ordering a cheeseburger you wanted to make an addition you'd be able to check off onions to make those lettuce and pickles, but all of those would fall under the additions category, which you could also globally check on or off. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of how to use checkbox components and how to design your own version of them when working on your next project. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.